What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next video. Here we're gonna be finding the domain and range from a simple set of coordinates and also tables of values. And then we're gonna be stating whether or not it is a function. So in this particular case, what I personally like to do, at least at the beginning when you're getting more comfortable with these kinds of questions, is if you're given a table of values like we are in part A, I like to first take the table and then graph it. Now when you're making this graph, it doesn't have to be anything too specific. It just doesn't have to be to scale, just so you could see and get an idea of how this relation is actually looking. So if I take these points zero and three, right? So that's gonna be here. Let's pretend that our uh, Y axis here is going up by ones. And then I got one and five, that's going to be here. Two and seven, that's gonna be here. Three and three, that's right here. Four and two, and then five and 10. That's gonna be all the way up here. Now with a domain, when you're stating the domain for just a particular set of points, all you have to do is basically state the X values from lowest to highest, and then you can't repeat any, if any do repeat. So notice that with the domain, well, this one's pretty nice because the X values are already in order for us, right? So. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the range, same thing. This one is not going to be in order. So you could look at the graph. So notice like we're starting, the lowest value we're going to start at is 2. Or you could just look at the table if, uh, if there's not too many coordinates to look at. So notice smallest value 2, then we're going to go to 3. Now notice that 3 repeats twice, right? But we're only going to write it once when we're stating the range. So we got 2, 3, and then next is what, 5? seven, and then 10, like that. And then to see whether or not it's a function, we run the vertical line test and we check, is there any two points that have the same X value? So for example, if we had like another point here, then it would fail the vertical line test. But notice that there is no pair of points that have the same X value. If we run a vertical line, right? We're not gonna be touching two points at once. So it's all good. So this first relation here that we have is indeed a function. Then moving on to part B, same kind of deal, except now instead of a table of values, we have a list of coordinates. Same thing though, I'm gonna take the coordinates, just going to plot them. So zero and one, that's gonna be here. Five and three, again, this X and Y scale is going up by ones here. Uh, four and zero, we got two and three. And then we have three and three, and then we have two and zero right here. Okay, so now domain. Now, unlike the other one, it's not listed out in a nice order for us, so we have to kind of look through. So what is the smallest x value gonna be? It's gonna be zero. Next one's gonna be two. Notice two repeats twice, but we only write it once. And then we have three, four, five, like that. Okay, and then we got the range here. So the range, uh, it's gonna be zero. Again, zero happens twice, we write it once. Next is gonna be three. Three is actually happening three times with these three coordinates. But again, we're just gonna write it once. Oh, sorry, I actually missed the one. The one comes before the three. And then comes the three, like that. Right, so that would be the uh, range right there. And then is this relation a function or not? Well, notice it's not because it's gonna fail the vertical line test right here, right? You can't have the, uh, you can't have more than one point having the same X value, right? So notice that these two points, they both have an X value of two, this one and this one. So this relation is not a function. And again, with time, as you get more comfortable, you're not gonna have to make a graph, but especially when you're starting out, Highly recommend taking the time to do so, so you can just see uh, visually, because sometimes you might not notice, right, that uh, something is not a function, uh, but when you look at the graph, you can visually see it. Moving on to part C, another table of values. So let's plot these, so negative three and four. Again, these scales are going up by one in this case. 
So we got negative 3 and 4. Got negative 3 and 0. I mean, right there with just those two. You could tell that this uh, relation is not going to be a function. It's going to fail the vertical line test. But let's uh, finish plotting it. So negative 2 and 1. And then we got 1 and 5. So that's going to be up here. Uh, 3 and 4. That is right there. And then we got 4 and 2 down here. Okay, so domain. Well, with this table, again, it's nice now. All of the x values are in order. So negative 3, negative 2. We got 1, 3, and 4. Uh, like that, I think. Yep. And then we have our range. Range is not in order, so we have to look at it a little bit more carefully. So 0. Uh, there's two zeros, but we only write them once. We got one, we got two, four, five. And then as we mentioned over here, we are failing the vertical line test. So this relation is not a function. And then finally, part D, another set of coordinates. So let's get into graphing these two and two. Again, both of our scales are going up by one here. So we got uh, 1 and 2. We got 0 and 0 at the origin. We got negative 2 and negative 3. So that's going to be down here. We got 3 and negative 3 down here. And then we got uh, negative 1, negative 1. That's going to be right there. Okay, so domain. Again, it's not nicely listed out in a table. It's kind of scattered here. So got to look through and investigate. Okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. I think I got that. There's actually no x values that uh, repeated there. Okay, and then the range, smallest value, negative 3, negative 1, 0, and then we have two coordinates uh, that have a y value of 2 right there. And then if we run the vertical line test, right, it's not failing anywhere. There's no pairs of points that have the same x values, so we would say that this relation is indeed a function. All right, so as a recap, again, as you get more comfortable, you're not going to have to make a graph every time when you get a set of uh, coordinates or a table of values, but at least at the beginning, uh, I'd highly recommend uh, graphing it. Because sometimes, too, it's like, you see how there's like two y values here? Sometimes you may see that and you may think, oh, because I'm seeing that same coordinate, it means that it's not a function. But remember, it's not the y values that would have to repeat, it's the x values. So that's another reason why sometimes it's helpful to uh, make a graph so you could visually see it, right? Because sometimes if you look at that and you see that pair right there of twos or this pair of negative threes, you may think incorrectly that uh, it's not a function. But when you actually plot it, you would notice that it's not a horizontal line test, right? It's a vertical line test that tests whether a relation is a function or not. All right, so highly recommend drawing graphs, especially on your test, just to be sure. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you wanna find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.